friends, it's Snoopy. I'm at Shinjuku Station now. I'm gonna walk from here to Meiji Jingu Shrine, passing Yoyogi Station. Okay, let's go. Let's get off the Yamanaki Line platform at Shinjuku Station and walk straight south. The road is empty and makes you feel uneasy. But don't worry, the ticket gate is just around there. Shinjuku Station is the busiest train station in the world. Around 3.6 million people use it every day. There are many gates in this station, which makes us confused. I'll use this new south gate today. Let's walk to Yoyogi Station from here. Yoyogi Station is very close by. Perhaps this is because Shinjuku Station is so large. This is the mascot character of Suika, a prepaid e-morning card for moving around and shopping by JR East. Let's walk along the footpath from south of Shinjuku Station to Yoyogi Station. As I mentioned, Shinjuku Station is very big, so sometimes using Yoyogi Station may be the better option. I'll explain why later. This road runs alongside the railway line. It's fun to walk around watching the trains. Tokyo Hands is a department store which stimulates your imagination. There are some shops in this building. Books Kinokuniya Tokyo is one of the biggest foreign bookstores in Tokyo. Nitori, a furniture and home accessory shop, is very popular. Shinjuku Takashimaya is not located in Shinjuku Ward, but in Shibuya Ward. However, this place is considered part of the Shinjuku area, as Shinjuku Station is the nearest station. It's getting closer to Yuyogi Station. After you cross this crosswalk, you're already at the station. We just arrived at Yuyogi Station, but this is not the main exit. There are many tiny hidden gems in the station. This crossing is one of the few Yamanote Line crossing. Who's train on the Yamanote Line pass through it? Let's look at the railway line from under the bridge. This railway bridge looks pretty old. As I pass under the railway bridge, I get to the west exit of Yoyogi Station. Now I get to the west exit. Yoyogi Station was opened in September 1906. Let's go Meiji Jingu Shrine now. There are two ways to get to the shrine from here. I'll take one of them now, and we'll get back to Yoyogi Station with another route later.
There are many juku, in other words, crown schools here. So there are many reasonable restaurants and ramen shops for quick meals here. Ramen is one of the most popular Japanese foods. Of course, many Japanese people love it too. Ramen is a popular fast food here in Japan. As I said, since Shinjuku is a big station, using Yuyogi Station can be another option. You can change trains on the Yamanote and two or so lines here. But the station is much smaller than Shinjuku Station, so you can avoid congestion and won't get lost. Closer to the shrine. As the forest comes into view, it becomes more shrinish. It's a lot quieter around here. Okay, let's get back to Yoyogi Station. I'll take another route back to the station from here. This route also gives a bit of normal Tokyo residential atmosphere. This road passes right next to the railway line, so you'd hardly get lost to your way. It's fun to walk with listening to the train sound. Let's listen.
These are typical old-fashioned houses seen in the Tokyo area. My parents' home looks similar to them. Approaching the station, I see many restaurants and cafes. I've been to some of these as I used to work near here. I've got back to Yoyogi Station now. Okay, I'll walk back toward Shinjuku again. I'm on the bridge near Shinjuku Station. The platform of Yoyogi Station can be seen in the distance. On the other side of this bridge, the new south exit of Shinjuku Station can be seen. Thanks for watching the video. Give it like, subscribe, and ring the bell. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Matane.